Your body and your mind have two completely different limits. If you're willing to do it, your body your body's able to do it. It's the will to want to do it. You gotta kind of find your why. That was a huge, a very, very huge thing for me. Well, why do you go and do these events? Why do you do CrossFit? Why, you know, why are you putting yourself through this stuff? Before the workout, you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. This is going to be terrible. This is going to be a nightmare. You'll hear it time and time over again. Members, elite competitors, everybody. People that have just started. What happens? We keep coming back. We keep doing it. It's, I think it's really because we have found a why. My name is Brooke Haas. I placed third in the Southeast region in the 2017 Open. I placed 25th worldwide, and I will be competing in Atlanta at the 2017 Mid-Atlantic Regionals. So growing up, I came from a little town in Minnesota where I shoveled lots of snow and I did lots of outdoorsy things. But I grew up with an older brother play sports as much so I think my dad kind of passed that torch to me and was like come on bro <laughs> my babysitter was the pool my parents were like hey it opens at 8 you're gonna go to swim lessons and then I'd be there until 8 p.m. not because I was forced to be there but because I wanted to be I would swim all day I'd come home I'd chug a grape crush and eat a box of macaroni and go back I came to Florida and I actually played for a women's rugby team I kind of fell into that a friend of mine that was on a soccer team was like, hey, you get too many red cards, you should probably play something that allows you to have a little more contact. I tore my ACL playing rugby, and I needed to find something still competitive. Somebody on my rugby team suggested that I go try out CrossFit, and that brought me into CrossFit. Step in those garage doors, and I fell in love. So training with a full-time job, uh, a lot of the top CrossFit athletes are going to see they CrossFit for a living. You know, they wake up, they CrossFit, they eat, they CrossFit, they nap, they CrossFit. And you see that. I actually did that. Uh, the years that I didn't go to regionals or the year that I didn't do very well at regionals, I was actually a full-time athlete. I coached people on the side and coached classes as well. So my volume was definitely a lot higher than it is now. I just find more quality in my sessions now. You know, I really... I push myself to that uncomfortableness, to that, that training failure. I've found that that gets me to where I'm most successful. I thought volume was key initially, and it's not. It's quality of the, of the volume that you're doing quality of each session you know when you're doing cleans are you really getting the most out of it or are you going through the movements when you're doing the metcon are you just trying to beat that one person or are you trying to beat the clock or trying to beat the person inside of you saying slow down this hurts too much I've been able to in this past year find that voice and shut it up